Well, I guess it's kind of a, a gripe session in a way. My wife's got one of them uh, cell phone things. I think it's an iPhone 6S or something. She's had it a couple of years or so. And really had pretty good luck with it. I think it was too expensive, in my opinion. It was like 800 and something dollar. I know they're hiring that now. But the point was, the other day, she started to call me. I was out in the car waiting on her to Walmart. Or, no, I guess it was Lowe's. And uh, she said the phone didn't work. And it's because, you know, I just park it out there. I don't want to go in the store and hang around there, you know. You go in for one item and it takes her an hour and a half to come back out. So I just stay in the car and listen to the radio. But anyway, she tried to call and it didn't work. And uh, so uh, she decided she'd uh, take it up there to the AT&T store up there. And uh, I thought they were supposed to have, you know, help you out after you bought something once and everything. So first off, you go up there and they got this door greeter, kind of like they got at Walmart. And he's got this little iPad computer gizmo there. Got a tool belt on like a carpenter where you're going to carry their nails in and everything. It's just chuck full of papers and what have you. One of them looked like a king size bill fold in there. Well, anyway, they they didn't even greet us at the door. Uh, we come on in, and he says, "Well, uh, what what do you need?" And we said, "Well, I need to kind of hear him, her phone check door. It ain't working." I think so. He puts my name down on that little thing, and then later on it shows up on the screen back here. He says, "Just have a seat." And all right, so we went back there, and they don't, have, they don't have comfortable chairs either. All they got's like an ottoman or one of them footstool things, you know, and it's bigger. So he sat there and wait and wait and wait, wait and wait. And I thought, well, hell, more people coming in than are going out. I could not imagine everybody having that much trouble with their phone, you know. So eventually, they rolled around, I guess it's 45 minutes we sat there. And finally, some young gal came over there and said, hey, can I help you? Yeah, well, we got a phone problem. You know, start telling the phone. Problem and everything, and I couldn't get make calls. So she took the phone and tinkered with it a little bit and everything and partly may not be their fault because the wife had it set up for Chinese which I can't read either. So that gal said can I put it back to English? Yeah sure go ahead. You know. She tinkered around and tinkered around and didn't have much luck and then this other gal came over which had a manager on her shirt thing and she started helping the wife with her trying to help her. About that time then this young gal she starts asking me questions. Uh, are you uh, you been in the military? Are you a uh, First responder, a police officer, anything like that? And I said, well, I was in the Army, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, well, we can give you a discount on that. I thought, what a discount on what? You know, pretty soon she got to writing down things. She said, do you like to watch TV? I said, I never watch TV. I'm always on YouTube. And I said, well, she said, what are you doing? You? I said, well, I watch uh, mostly old, uh, old Westerns, old crimes. Oh, well, we got that on our direct TV. I said, I don't want that, you know. I said, I, I, you know, we're set up like we want to be. She would not take no for an answer. You could not crack her nut on that, I'll tell you. That gal just got on that subject and stayed there. Well, I know they get paid for all that. You know, that for the more people they can sell phones to, I have bigger commission. I'm sure that's the way it works. Now, I didn't know that before. Well, anyway, and this other gal, she was over there doing things, this, that, and other, but she never had too much luck. I told my wife, I said, Lisa, there you should have a track phone. You know, none of malarkey. I think that made that manager kind of aggravated because it wasn't much longer. She just Walked off. And that other gal didn't do us any good either. So we finally we finally left. But I think all they really all they're interested in is selling you another phone or more of a plan or something. They don't really care, care about you once you get your phone bought from them and everything. And, and the wife's aggravation said she's gonna find something besides that AT and T from now on and probably did not even use the, the iPhone and get something else, you know, like a Samsung or something like that. Well, anyway, that's my little rant on that situation up there. I, personally, I don't like them kind of cell phones, anyway. All it is is a computer with a phone app, and that's what it amounts to. It does everything else. I'm an old geezer. I don't need a lot of fancy stuff. I got my little track phone, and I carry it with me, and it's call, you can call and you can receive, and that's all you need on a telephone. I got other things for different things. Anyway, enough of that, but anyway, uh, that's just a little experience with your uh, it was kind of perplexing, I'll be honest with you. Sitting there all that time and didn't accomplish a thing. Plus, we drove a 50-mile round trip to get to their store. Okay, enough of this malarkey. I know you're getting bored with it already. So, uh, y'all take care, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye now.